Hey guys, welcome to Wacky Worms. We're here in Broward County, Florida at a local park and I'm here with my kids, Sophia. Hello. Hello and Lorenzo. I'm Mario. Mario. I don't know. I don't know why I said that. But uh, we're looking on this big strangler fig tree, great big tree, for one of Florida's coolest butterflies. What's it called? Buddy Daggerwing. Buddy Daggerwing. Guys, uh, we're going to look for some caterpillars. Check this out. What do we got? We got all kinds of insect life here, don't we? Yeah. Got diva going on. Oh, what's this? A curled up leaf. You know what that is? No, spiders. No, no that looks like uh, larval eatings from a uh, Slithsonia, a little metal mark moth. Oh, so, have you found anything? No. Chat? What do you got? A green chrysalis! Look. You got a chrysalis? Yeah! Oh, look at that. Oh, Lorenzo. Comment down below if you saw that before. Oh, gee whiz. Lorenzo found himself a ruddy daggerwing chrysalis. Pretty cool, bro. That's five bucks for you, dude. Woo! Woo! Dude, awesome, man. That's so cool. So cool, man. Where'd that guy, where was he? Man, so camouflage, man. Oh, Wait, where'd right he go? there, right there. Where'd he go? Okay. All right, Sophia, uh, Lorenzo's up. Juan, he found a chrysalis. Uh, I found a caterpillar. And um, well, he's, it's his own money, so he doesn't get anything. Well, well, let's see. So Lorenzo's up five bucks, and so now we're on this big strangler fig tree, and there's got a, a lot of new growth, plenty of. Tor tor what'd you find? False alarm. False alarm, dude. Really? Okay, we're looking for ruddy dagger wings. And so these strangler fig trees, I mean, this, this tree is about 30 feet tall. I mean, it's absolutely incredible the amount of biodiversity that you can find in this one ecosystem called the strangler fig tree. I mean, there's all kinds of animals that live. I mean, even the, the little berries, the little fig berries that you see here are edible and a lot of birds and things that like to eat those. Uh, there's metal mark moths, there's the big ficus sphinx. Scoby ducks, I don't know about them, but um, you know, it's uh, it's an incredible ecosystem. All kinds of like there's a big spider web here. There's all kinds of stuff going on there. So Lorenzo's up five dollars. He, he found one. So Sophie's on on the prowl looking for uh, a ruddy dagger wing caterpillar or chrysalis. And so, oh uh, well, I don't know about that. So. So if he's looking on new growth, that's where the ruddy dagwings are very picky about the, gr the growth that they look that they eat. Sometimes I'll come find out. Sometimes it's gonna be very gross. All right. Yeah. Well, there's there's bugs, and that's what we're looking for, right? Oh my gosh! There it is. Do you see one? What? Wait, do you, wait, Sophie. Where? Sophie. Oh my goodness. So, there! Where? Will well, you see one? Oh, look at that. Comment down below if you saw that one. There is a ruddy dagger wing chrysalis. I and have $5! $5 for Sophia. She found a chrysalis. Lorenzo found a chrysalis. It's tied up. So this chrysalis is pre-emerged. It's It looks like it's got the orange colored up and it's going to emerge tomorrow so that's awesome we're going to we're going to definitely going to film a wacky worms episode out of this but we're going to see if we can find a few caterpillars but the, the best thing to do when looking for these guys and i'm going to actually pluck this leaf with this caterpillar sophie congrats there's your cat there's your uh, chrysalis All right super camouflaged uh they they Hang underneath it. Yeah, you can see this guy coloring up big time right here. All right, so one of the things we're going to do is 
when you're looking for ruddy dagger wings, the easiest way to find them, oh, look, there's an Edwards wasp moth caterpillar. Wait, what? Little Edwards eye, little tiny fuzzy little guy. Uh -huh. That's a moth caterpillar. But see this thing right here, Lorenzo, this is called a frass chain. Ooh. And when ruddy dagger wings caterpillars are small, the, the very young caterpillars, they will rest on the vein of the leaf and they will attach little tiny frass pellets to a chain and actually rest on that chain. And see, there's another one. Do they make it though? They make it, yeah, so they chew. So what they do is they'll chew little pieces of the leaves like this and they make a little chain and the caterpillars actually rest right on that chain, so. Well, what material is it? It's actually made up of leaves, piece, pieces of the leaves and little tiny pieces of frass. Uh, Ew! Caterpillar poop. Caterpillar poop. Oh, guys, check this out. Guys, check this out. Here's a, a smaller Instar Ruddy Dagger Wing Caterpillar. I can't see anything. He's probably, he's right here. Oh, I see it. He's right there, probably probably third Instar. He hasn't got that really cool orange coloration yet, uh, but he's got those neat horns and the spikes. He's a little smaller. So we've got, that's our, that's our third Caterpillar of the day, actually, I found a bigger uh, final Instar one as well. So we've got three Caterpillars, two Chrysalises, uh, we're doing pretty well. We're gonna have a cool wacky worm video coming up soon. All right guys, come on, it's it's one all. Lorenzo found a chrysalis, Sophie found a chrysalis, but we gotta find some caterpillars and see if we can get anything going here. Oh my gosh, I literally missed it, look, I found one. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, you got a caterpillar. Yeah. Oh, he's a big one too, look at that guy. Yeah. I literally like walked right by it. Oh, wow. All right, so here's what he's got. He's got these cool horns on his on the front of his head. Oh, that looks like, you know, like when like, like a big giant, like, like rodeo or Yeah, well, he, it almost looks like an Indian headdress. Like he's got this, these big wacky horns uh, called scoli coming off of his head capsule. And he's got this, these two black stripes That's on his, on his head capsule. Super cool find, bro. That's what we call it, wacky worms. Wacky worms, man. That's a that's a that's a wacky worm right there, isn't it? Yep. That's a super wacky worm. Yeah, he's probably gonna pupate either today or tomorrow. Uh, super cool find, Lorenzo. Super proud of you, buddy. One of the cool things about looking for stuff on ficus trees is we have all these neat little metal mark moths down here in South Florida. This pile of dead leaves on this new leaf right here is actually. Uh, a larval casing or maybe even a pupil casing of Tortyrus lasonia. It's the little tiny metal mark moth that has got this really pretty purple coloration on its wings, purple antenna, super cool bug. And I think we found a couple uh, Hemorophilia diva larvae and caterpillars and chrysalis on here as well. So those are pretty neat. And look, we've got some spiders going on. Uh, this thing is loaded with life, loaded with life. I love ficus trees, it's one of my favorite organisms and favorite things to do is look on these guys for all the bugs that come with them. All right guys, that wraps up our evening. It's getting dark, you guys gotta get in the shower. And uh, Sophie, you found a, a chrysalis, chrysalis. Right? A chrysalis. Lorenzo, you found a chrysalis and a red daguing caterpillar. Caterpillar, that was awesome. Guys, if you like this episode, hope you hopefully you learned something. Uh, subscribe to our channel down below. Click the little bell for notifications. And uh, we would love for you to visit our website. It's www.keymoz.com. We've got plenty of more videos like this, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications so that you get. On, and we are on. Yeah, and we are on Facebook and Instagram, and that is really cool. You should check it out because we have a lot of butterflies, and moths, and caterpillars, and yep. chrysalis. So the cool thing is, we are in urban South Florida. This is like a neighborhood right here and Broward County, there's like a boat ramp, and there's a strangler fig tree right here in the boat ramp, in the park, and we found some really super cool bugs, okay. and you can find some cool bugs in, in your backyard. So guys, check us out next time. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Till then, take care. Let's get out there.